I'm here with Dr. Romano to do a problem on carboxy acids. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano, a professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the creator and author of the Orgo Man and Dr. Destroyer books. I'd like to go over a question with you on carboxylic acids, how to create them, and some reactions used in a synthetic methodology, which I'm going to challenge even the best of students with. So come around and let's have a look. I'm going to show you three quick reactions that you need for the DAT involving carboxylic acids. The first one, if you have NaCN, all we would simply do, I'll put a solvent here. Usually we use a polar aprotic solvent. NaCN is going to do a simple SN2. So we kick off the bromine and put on the cyanide. We make the nitrile. Anytime you add acid to the nitrile, we hydrolyze it and convert it into a COOH group. So a very nice way to make a carboxylic acid is to hydrolyze a nitrile. Number two, I can do what is known as a side chain oxidation. Anything made of carbon gets burnt off the benzene ring to a carboxylic acid. Anything not made of carbon stays behind. So this is one of my favorite ways to make a benzoic acid. If you got a string of hydrocarbons, you would oxidize it with either potassium dichromate or even potassium permanganate. Number three, this is a protecting group. And I'll talk more about that in a second. The Grignard will first form and you would get A, so you would get the MGBR. When you add CO2 to a Grignard and acid, it converts the Grignard to a COOH group and the acid also removes off the protecting group. So you hit two birds with one stone. So notice the carbonation of a Grignard is a fantastic way to add an additional carbon onto your skeleton. Come on over here and I wrote a really good problem for you on the blackboard. What I want to do is to take three bromotoluene and I want to convert it into this amide. The first thing that we see here is that if I bisected this and cut this off, I have a C double bond O. So that's going to tell me to first make a carboxylic acid. So I'm going to first use the Grignard, make the Grignard, carbonate the Grignard, and get COOH. Once I did that, I use a ACL halide, or I create an ACL halide using SOCl2 and pyridine, and that makes the ACL halide. And once I do that, I treat it with the proper amine and split off HCl. The pyridine will neutralize the excess acid, and you would put the amide group and install it on, and you would get this product. So I think that carboxylic acids is one of the most important functional groups when we do synthetic transformations such as this. Because the carboxy acid is a gateway to many products. Once you get a carboxy acid, you can then go on to make an ACL halide, which happens to be one of the most reactive compounds. Once you make the ACL halide, you can make an array of different organic products. All right, I hope this gives you a good idea on how to proceed on some really key reactions for the DAT exam. All right, if you got any questions, hit me up on the study group. Good day to you.